Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. It's always such a joy to be able to come before the Word of God, to know that people are studying God's Word uh, with all the news that's in the world today and the things that are going on. I am so glad that I have the foundation of the Word of God, the Bible, before me so that I can hear what God has to say about things and not just what people and the news and everything else says. I encourage you, get into the Word of God. God will teach you just as easily as He does me. It's His Holy Spirit that's our true teacher. He uses people's voices to teach His Word, but it's truly God that's the one who created us. He gave us life and breath. He gave us His Word. He inspires us in His Word, and He'll teach us His Word. That's why we always go to Him in prayer when we begin our study. I encourage you to do that on your own. So why don't you pray with me today? Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your word. It is indeed a lamp unto our feet and a light into our path. Lord, we know that if we'll hide your word in our heart, we will not sin against you. And our desire, Lord, is just to bury it deep today and ask you by your Holy Spirit to reveal your truth to us and also to inspire us and give us the power to live according to what we learn today. We just want to bless you. We want to give you thanks and gratitude that you so deserve for sharing your word, your guide for our lives with us. And we do this in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, If Not the Father's Works, Believe Not. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 37. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy, and because that you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are God's? If he called them God's, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, Say you of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, you blaspheme, because I said, I am the Son of God? And in chapter 10 and verse 37 of his book, John shared how Jesus said, If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. Where we read, If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. The verse reads, if I do not the works of my Father. John began with Jesus' words, if I do not the works, which means whether, since, and on account that I, Jesus, do not perform, make ready, and produce the acts and deeds of my Father are belonging to my, Jesus' Father God in heaven. John shared how Jesus continued his discussion with the Jewish people who desired to stone him by having them consider the acts and deeds which his Father gave him the ability to perform. The verse continues, believe me not. John added the words, believe me, which means trust in, rely upon, and have confidence in me, Jesus, not, or no, and in no way. John shared how Jesus told the Jewish people who were to stone him not to trust in him if he didn't do the acts and deed of his God, his Father. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus invited the Jewish people who were going to stone him to examine the acts and deeds which he was given to perform by God the Father. Jesus knew these people doubted who he claimed to be, and this is not unusual even today. People do not believe Jesus is the Son of God and his Messiah, and even though they read and hear of the wonderful works of God through Jesus, they continue to doubt. God's desire is to have a personal relationship with every person through Jesus. And when they surrender to him, they will be forgiven of their sins and inherit everlasting life with God. And those who are wise will reject the way of the Jewish people who wanted to stone Jesus and simply yield their lives to him. Next time, John shares how Jesus said, believe the works. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you, and may he keep, help keep shine his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name, amen.